We've got uh, Sky commentating. It's uh, Eero and Zex versus Sean and uh, Mojo. There we go. Mojo. And I have two people right next to me that uh, are a little pussies and they don't want to say anything. <laughs> All right, let's start. You know, I really don't think there's anything that counters Snake Mark. You know, like, if you have TDD something else, you know, you have a Meta Knight that's kind of like a counter. If a that's kind of like a counter. But no two characters, two combination of characters, not even double Meta Knight, which is their favorite matchup, counters uh, Marth Snake, so it's a really strong lead. And I do want to see how they react to that lead. Um, nobody in NorCal has genuinely played Mojo to the extent where we can see his habits or read him. As X is known for you know spotting habits and punishing them early, but I couldn't say that you know we know enough about him to be like, oh, he's going to do this this percent of the time. So this is kind of new for Zex and Hero, and I think Sean is capitalizing on that and just kind of confusing them. It's very even. Hero going for that forward tilt to make it. Ooh, and barely survived. Barely. There goes the first talk off Marth. Very nice. That was very well spaced. And Mojo is the one still standing. But, you know, they know that it doesn't matter if Mojo's living. They're just going to double team Snake. And if Mojo wants to camp, they'll just double team Snake. Not a big deal. They'll double team Snake. That's all. They're doing that, uh, the sticky, the sticky thing. Um, I'm not sure if uh, Mojo and Sean are up for the up throw sticky death thing. Mojo holding that stock. <laughs> I don't know if I'd consider it really holding or just really staying out of danger. Because holding insinuates that you've, you know, you've survived heavy attacks, you've, you know, gone out and was approaching a lot of the time, and you're just really, you know, oh wow, that was really amazing. If you guys didn't catch that, I'm pretty sure that uh, Mojo just got spiked by Zex, but teched it right when the spike came out. So that definitely was a stock, hypothetically, if he did get spiked, but he prevented it. Oh, I didn't notice. You see, the thing about, you know, Eero and Zex is they don't care if someone has the stock lead. If someone's going to camp and try to keep their stock, they're just going to go kill the other person, which is exactly what they did to Sean. And now Sean has to take a stock, and look who's in the lead now. It's just that simple. I couldn't really say that they're winning by a huge margin because when you have two stocks on one and one stock on the other, and they're both at one stocks, you know, essentially you could bring it back to a two-on-one. So I wouldn't say that they're exactly, you know, it's, it's in uh, Eero and Zex's favor, but it's definitely, you know, they're definitely leading. Zex is trying to make it back on the stage. Okay, and there goes Eero's second stock on his way to protect Zex, and All we need now is one divine up tilt and three So it's really tedious, you know, for um, for Mojo to up tilt, or yeah, up tilt pretty much because he can kill his partner, he can kill Marth, it's a gamble. And Marth isn't going to really let that happen. Very delicate situation. Sean just barely making it back after that risky up B. And Mojo, that was a, that was a self application for DI Academy. Um, after that terrible display of DI, but you know. Ooh, and there goes, there goes Zex. Really close, there goes the sticky. Oh, okay, and barely, just barely he loses. Barely they lose. And the first game goes to Mojo and Sean.